when we uh, concentrate on Middle East, uh, we see that uh, it is uh, highly enriched with uh, oil industry. Uh, it is refined oil and petroleum oil uh, and some sort of uh, energy is uh, highly available in Middle East area. And now uh, we will focus on American role in uh, Middle East uh, considering uh, oil industry. Uh, we know that uh, Jimmy Carter uh, introduced a doctrine uh, which, which is entitled to a Middle East security with American national security. Uh, and uh, from this doctrine, uh, America is highly engaged with Middle East interference. Uh, we, uh, as far we know, uh, U.S. obsession to Middle East uh, began uh, from 1930s when uh, American scientists discovered uh, a huge amount of oil in Middle East area, especially in uh, eastern part of Saudi Arabia. And it, it began uh, from 1930s and U.S. directly uh, influenced on American inter uh, on uh, Middle East intervention uh, after Second World War. Uh, we know that uh, Middle East is especially uh, colonized by British, uh, British regime. Uh, after Second World War, uh, due to geopolitical change, uh, USA began to influence on Middle East, uh, Middle East area. And before uh, militarization, uh, Arab countries, uh, Arab, Arab countries are a generally autocratic country. They have less legitimacy and popularity uh, among their peoples. Uh, so every Arab regime, every Arab. Uh, Every Arab regime uh, want to make an ally with uh, colonial power, with imperial power. And from that period, uh, Franklin D. Roosevelt and Saudi Arabian uh, founding father uh, Abdel Aziz met in, uh, in, in Egypt. And from that, from that uh, time, Saudi Arabia became a highly trusted partner of America. And soon after, uh, we know that the Iranian uh, President Raja Shah Pahlavi and as well uh, Iraq Saddam Hussein, they all are uh, they all are militarized and they all are a strong ally with US. But uh, since uh, there are domestic or international uh, difficulties or casualties, uh, they became uh, enemy with each other. First of all, we know that the Iraq-Iran war and then uh, Iraq invasion to Kuwait and then after uh, we saw Iraq war in 2003 all are highly related to oil industry of Middle East and if we see uh, the militarization period uh, began uh, after uh, after 1973 oil embargo uh, uh, imposed on uh, USA uh, before oil embargo, uh, they are technically handled by USA uh, by, uh, by, uh, by, by selecting regime or by proposing a, a demo government and all those are uh, happened by USA. But after oil embargo, uh, Middle East uh, countries, especially autocrat regime, they are highly militarized and USA created a competitive uh, situation among them and uh, just uh, every Gulf state they became uh, enemy to each other uh, due to arms uh, race and the US only the party who, who sold uh, armament or uh, arms to all those countries and by this by helping uh, every party every uh, Middle East party they all are highly militarized and after militarization uh, we see that every party uh, they are highly dominant they are highly commanding uh, on each other and from that from that sense you Saddam Hussein uh, Saddam Hussein was able to attack in Iran as well as he attacked it on uh, Kuwait and finally in 2003 uh, he was uh, U.S. attacked it on uh, Iraq because of uh, his uh, because of his uh, refusal uh, to obey U.S. command, and that doctrine is 
highly uh, applicable in every uh, Middle East state. When, when U.S. interest is interrupted by by those regi those re regimes, the U.S. especially they they make just uh, they force those countries to change their regime, and 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 Saddam just uh, he refused to obey U.S. Uh, U.S. There, then uh, we see that uh, in the name of uh, WMD, Weapon of Mass Destruction, uh, USA, uh, under Bush administration, they attacked Iraq. And they destroyed every uh, economic uh, elements, especially oil. And we see that when, uh, when a war is their basic uh, fundamental needs, their environmental uh, diversity, their cultural uh, diversity, all are destroyed. And in uh, another thing is Iranian Islamic Revolution, after Iranian Revolution, there was a dramatic change in uh, a strategy uh, because Iran was a <coughs> ally with USA. And after Iranian Revolution, uh, we see that regional balance of power was interrupted. A highly trusted ally has become uh, a permanent enemy because of uh, a strategic change. And from that time, from that time, uh, USA and uh, as well as Soviet Union, they all uh, international actors. They helped both Iraq, both uh, Iraq and Iran, and thereby they are just making their their economy. They are uh, selling arms. They are uh, selling uh, uh, war war materials to both the parties. And so we s we can infer from those incidents that every colonial power they they have a just a uh, common rule and they, they usually come to capture the resources and in uh, regarding Middle East we only see that oil resource. So, so finally I can say that uh, when USA is engaged, uh, USA is engaged in Middle East, they just want to make economy and the oil economy is the most profitable uh, business in the world. So. U.S. engagement in Middle East is uh, is permanent uh, uh, till their uh, interest will serve.